Let us discuss energy stored in a capacitor. Let us take a simple capacitor with capacitance value C farad. Let us also connect a suitable battery with a switch across the capacitor as DC source. As soon as we switch on the source, the charge Q will start accumulating in the capacitor. Due to this charge accumulation, the voltage established across the capacitor is gradually increased. If at any instance the charge accumulated in the capacitor is Q coulomb, and for that the voltage established across the capacitor is V volt, then we can write Q equals to C into V. Again, as per definition, the potential difference of V volts across the capacitor means V joules of work has to be done in transferring one coulomb from one plate to the other. That means work done for transferring one coulomb charge is V. Hence, work done for transferring dQ charge is V dQ. This work done can be written as dW. Then we can write dW equals to V dQ equals to C into V dV. The total work done in raising the potential of the capacitor from zero to the supply voltage of V volt can be expressed as W equals to integral of C V D V from zero to V. And it is one by two into C V square. This work done is stored in the electrostatic field, set up between the plates of the capacitor in the form of energy. Again, C into V is total charge accumulated in capacitor during charging. So this equation can be rewritten as where Q is the total charge accumulated in the capacitor during charging. Hope you got the idea. Thank you.